Surprise. Hi, Belinda. How are you? It's nice to meet you. It's definitely a pleasure. My name's Kelsey, Kelsey Bernard Gifford, as you can see on my profile. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to respond to you. I wasn't gonna respond to you at all if you had not mentioned my children. Yeah, you've crossed the line. You said that my children were mutts. First of all, I've, I've, I've never had anyone to insult my children. I've never had that happen before. Um, and when I read that, um, I was just like, hold on, I was getting a text message right here. I saw something on here. Uh, oh, wow, that's an interesting message up there. But anyway, um, when I read your message, I was like, I felt like this, this spark of like, primal rage that just like you know you know that that parental protective instinct that every parent has within them yeah I, I felt that and it was it felt great it felt excellent it was awesome so to respond to the notion that my children are mutts I mean that 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 can be a a pretty relative term you know how much percentage of one ethnic group uh has to be present in your bloodline for you to be considered a mutt i mean i i don't know I mean, can you tell me because i know that you know you're you're probably you know not 100 percent african you know i took my, my matter of fact i took my dna i did my you know ancestry.com and i'm I'm actually more African than a lot of African Americans who are 75% African. And I'm actually 83% African. But anyway, that's beside the point. You know, oh yeah, that means I'm black. I'm black. I'm, I'm blacker than black. But um, yeah, my children. The reason that my babies are light skinned is because their mom it's not because she's white. And even if she was white, even if she was white, what does that have to do with you? Why be so bitter? See, she, my, my, the, the mother of my children, she's mixed. She's half black. Her father's from Cuba. A black man looked just like me with an accent from Cuba. Black man, darker than me. A Negro from, from Cuba, a Negro with an accent. That's all he is. He's black. And then her mom is white. All right, I shouldn't have to even explain that to someone on, on the internet, but frankly, I'm bored. I'm very bored right now because I'm sitting here at the, uh, the, the VA right now waiting on a few things to be processed. Um, so, yeah, VA, the Veterans Affairs Office, you know. Um, yeah, I was in the military for a bit, got out, and uh, now I'm here on Facebook arguing with, you know, people who are bitter and have no other, you know, priorities, you know. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so you responded and said that my children were mutts, and... You said that I don't like black women. Let me repeat that again. You said that I don't like black women. What? That's blasphemy. Who, who don't like a, a, a nice looking sister? Hmm? Black women are the epitome of beauty. You feel me? You should know this. You should know this, sister. Tell me I don't like black women. When I'm about to go pick up a black woman right now and take her to see that It movie. About to take a black woman to see the It movie. You talking about I don't like black women. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Belinda. And the reason that you're so angry about that 
the, the concept of me possibly being with someone who's non-black, the reason that you're so upset and have so much bitterness inside of you because of that is because of systematic white supremacy. And it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault at all. It's because of systematic white supremacy. That's 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 why you're so bitter. Um stems from slavery, stems from psychological degradation. Um it stems from, you know, a long-standing belief that whatever is darker is 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 worse. And whatever is lighter is better. And you've let that get to your mind. You've let that get to your brain, sister. You sure have. Um, but I'm here to tell you, because you're you're darker, I don't mean you're you're worse. That doesn't mean you're a lower quality of woman. Doesn't mean that at all. You can't you can't use that bitterness that you've displayed on on your your post. You can't use that bitterness and and you know spew it all over innocent children, especially my children. Hold up, let me drink some drink real quick. Can't be doing that. That's not good. By the way, NOS energy drink. That's why I'm so damn hyper. Um, but yeah, um, you can't be doing that, right? You can't be doing that type of stuff. And oh yeah, by the way, um, the initial post, the initial post was about Usher, right? That's what it was about. I, I had forgot there for a second because I was just, you know, so focused on on this thing that you have said about my children, calling my baby, my my innocent children mutts. Hmm. You don't know what's from a can of paint. We could be the sweetest people ever. We could be the sweetest people. But you decide to be bitter and post something on, you know, against someone's children. And you didn't expect this shit, did you? Sure didn't. Well, surprise, Belinda. Um. Anyway, man, this nos, this this stuff is, damn, this stuff is, this stuff is on point right here. All right. Um. But yeah, yeah. Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. I, I've been told before, um, that I look like the type that would, you know, that would date white girls. Um. I don't knock anybody for dating white girls, and some white girls are are fine. You know. I don't knock nobody for dating outside of their race, outside of the, the the diaspora. I don't knock you for that. But what I would knock somebody for is to be like, you know, oh, I got this, I got this white girl, right? Man, F black women. I got this white woman right here. F black women. That's coon talk. But guess what? You don't see me doing that, do you? You won't see me doing that. I mean, you don't know what the hell I'm doing behind the scenes, but you know, you, you get my point. So, um, but yeah, you can't be doing that. You can't. You, that's just not cool, you know. But Linda. So, <clears throat> on to Usher, right? Um, you said that all men, most men, most men would 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 would, would have sex with Usher's accuser. Are you out of your goddamn mind, Belinda? Get over yourself. That's some real psychological stuff going on there. In psychology, there's a term. It's called freaking um, 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 uh, projection, right? Putting you up on some game right now. Listen. It's called projection. What you're doing, you're wanting, you're identifying, right, with with 
uh, what's what's the accuser's name? I don't know what her name is, but you're projecting that uh, desire on you're you're projecting the situation onto onto all men because you want someone to desire you, right? Belinda, isn't that right? Huh? You want some someone to desire you. And you said that you, you said that you, you implied that I would want that. I would want the one that's 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 you know accusing Usher. You're applying that. You're implying that about me. My response to that would be this, all right? And then you said I don't like black women because I, I wouldn't mess with the one that you're identifying with. You're identifying like a lot of women on the comment section. I've seen that before. They identify with Usher's accuser because they see themselves in her. It's called projection. If it's wrong, look that shit up. If it's wrong, don't 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 contact me because you know, shit. I mean, I passed psychology in, in college. You know, but you know that's what matters. You know, I passed. Um, but I did learn that word. And if it's wrong, we're all going to know that word because we're going to look it up. Um, you, you're identifying with her. And um, you, you want someone to want you, right? Well, Belinda, you were really bad today. You were really mean today. You were really rude to innocent children. So I have every right every right to roast your ass I could roast your ass right now easily you want people to want you and you saying that you know I don't want black women because I, I don't I don't like her the person that you identify with but let me tell you this Belinda I looked at your pictures I looked at your pictures. I got a weird text message. I looked at your pictures, Belinda. And you know what my conclusion is? Do you want to know what my conclusion is? Some weird stuff going on in this parking lot. That's why I'm pausing like this. Um, I'm not going to do that because that would be mean. I'm not talking about you. I'm not done with you. I'm talking about the person that's in the parking lot right now. Um, now back to you, Belinda. I looked at your pictures, and my conclusion is that you're angry because you know nobody would want you. Now, I didn't say anything about you. I didn't say anything about you. I didn't say you were ugly or, or nothing. I didn't say that. Because I could go in on you and say, yeah, I like black women. I love sisters. Love every shade of sisters. But just not you. Hmm? That hurts, doesn't it? Almost just as bad as it hurts to read a negative, rude, bitter ass comment about my children. Hmm. Oh, 14 minutes and three seconds, and I'm still going in on you. Mm hmm. I got a lot more where that's coming from. But I gotta go. So I got things to do. I gotta go take this black woman to see the It movie. I'm about to go see It. So. Ashe to you. Have a good uh, have a good evening, and I hope that you change your mind. I hope that you eventually uh, stop being so bitter and love yourself. Because if you loved yourself, you wouldn't be that bitter. You know. Let hold on, hold on. We ain't going nowhere yet. We ain't going nowhere yet. There's a person in my life that I could have the 
that I that that I could um potentially be jealous of he has the potential to or he has you know something that would make me feel jealous you know something about him but my response to that was not you know oh man i'm about to hate on this dude man you know and then start looking for shit you know you're looking for shit about the person that you're jealous of i ain't doing that that's sucker shit i'm not doing that not doing that what i am doing is i'm gonna sit down I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a meet up with this brother. I'm a chat with this brother. I'm gonna get to know this brother. Right? I'm gonna get to know this brother. I did actually. I got to know this dude. Learned from the man. Learned from the man. And a whole lot of benefits came from that. He put me up on some game. I've improved from him by not being jealous and bitter, but I learned and I grew from it. Now I ain't hating no more. I'm rooting for the brother now because he on my team, right? I'm the captain of that goddamn team. I'm just playing. <laughs> but anyway, Belinda, I hope you've learned your lesson today. I hope you've learned a valuable lesson, sweetie. And by the way, you look a little too old to be on Facebook doing that kind of stuff. From the pictures I've seen, if that was you, if that was you, Belinda, you look a little too old to be wilding out on Facebook like that. I hope you have a man. I mean, that's not what I want to say. You must not have a man. And if you do have a man, I don't know, you know, what... We're going to have to set up a GoFundMe for this guy because the man is suffering from your bitterness. Now, go ahead and look for whatever you want to look for about me. I don't care. Frankly, I don't. I don't care. I know who I am. I know what I'm capable of. I'm intelligence. I'm creative. I'm kind, I'm gentle. <gasps> oh shoot. Looks like the old master chief from my my ship. Oh, that ain't him. Anyway, um I was in the navy. But um Yeah, you know, there's a lot of good things about myself. So you can go look, you know, you can say whatever you want about me, about my forehead and my nappy hair, you know? It is pretty nappy. You know, I need to, I need a lineup, by the way. I need a lineup. Um, but anyway, I got to go, y'all. 18 minutes and 8 seconds. I'm still running my mouth. So, I'm about to go pick up this black woman. This black woman. About to go pick up this black woman. Black. Black. And take her to the movies. I should do a video and respond with her in a video. And then when she in the video, I ask her, I'll say, boo, what are you? What's your ethnicity? And guess what she going to say? Black. Okay. Don't be insecure like that, Belinda. And you owe me an apology. I could have, ooh, I could have went in on you, Belinda. Ooh, ooh, I could have went in on you, but I'm not going to do that. I want to see you grow, sister. I want to see you grow. Now, with that being said, I'm, I'm really leaving. All right, I'm really leaving. So, I'm signing off. Kelsey Gifford. Kales. I'm out. I hope you respond, too. Let's make this fun. Let's make this fun, Belinda. Let's make it fun.